That's what it is, though. Y'all like and, listen, like and subscribe, man. Yeah. Fucking right. Put in the comment section what question we gonna talk about when we start doing these Q and A's. I'ma tell you, say what a, what a question came from. We gonna address the question. I might dive off into some shit and might trigger a memory of some old shit and I have one of my bipolar episodes. But it's gonna be fun, man. So drop your questions you might have for me and I'll make a video with it. That's how the chopper hit. We get violent when we see a chance to escape poverty. We're right for this, we show acknowledgement for those that died for this. Behind events without no consciousness about their consequence and common sense. Same ain't common sense, common been common sense. Common sense telling me get bent behind a bunch of tent. Common sense, bitch, give me brain till you ain't competent. Common sense when that chopper hit all of your opposites. Damn. Ah, good afternoon. <laughs> I want to cut the 125 and right now we're 140. Any tips? Yeah, uh, you got to burn more calories, you got to eat less food, or uh, one of the two, maybe a combination of both. Uh, increase your physical activity slightly and go, you know, slightly into a deeper deficit, or pick one and, and you know, stick with it. That's about it, bro. That's about it. I salute you for wanting to reach a goal, though. For real. How many protein shakes a day you drink? Right now I'm not drinking any, but when I was, it was just to get my 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 protein intake where it needs to be. <clears throat> I had to throw it away. Yeah. But if you if you're trying to consume pro you're trying to supplement protein and you done got you some protein and you just eating food and just drinking protein whenever you think it might be proper. That's, that's incorrect if, let's just say you're on a 2,000 calorie diet. Like your daily goal is 2,000 calories. Because a certain amount of those calories have to be, con they have to come from protein. So you need to know what that protein intake should be. It shouldn't just be, you know, freestyling with your protein intake. Or your carb intake. Or your fat intake. It would be nice if your diet was, you know, your calorie intake was, you know, mainly food and one protein shake was to help you hit your mark. <clears throat> no, bigness, don't do me that. Don't do me that. I know that shit was fun to have nothing. Yeah, they, sh they suffer. Most definitely. No Twitter, Jason Alvaro. Quickest way to what? Quickest way to lose? Or uh, the quickest way to lose is to make the decision to start losing. And immediately you start losing and losing right then and there. The moment you increase your physical activity and, and the moment you, you start aiming for the hit a certain calorie intake according to your calorie deficit. That's when the process done started. Appreciate that who that is. Appreciate it. Appreciate the gifts, y'all. Appreciate that, man. <clears throat> Anything you feel like giving, give it. I ain't, I ain't gonna really ask. <clears throat> Vitamins and minerals is key, most definitely. So look, vitamins or supplements, all that shit is just what it is. It's supplements. You want most of your nutrition to be from food, actual food. In any macronutrient or mineral or micronutrient that you may be lacking from your your food, to where it's like there's no way in hell I can eat something else without going my going over my my calorie goal. That's when you have to supplement something like protein or, or eat your a, a carb meal for those of you trying to bulk and, and got a high surplus. <clears throat> what up, Dylan Stump? You landed at the right time, but you how much you trying to gain? Where you at with it? If I want to get big, do I do three, uh, three, 12, 12, 15? Well, if you if you want to get big, that means muscle growth, hypertrophy is the goal, and a low rep range is it's good for building strength. You will see muscle growth, but if only as a byproduct of getting strong. Now, if you would like to get big and let and just you know getting strong is just something that happens in the process of you trying to get big, then your rep range for hypertrophy, muscle growth, and what I do 
12 or more. 10, that's, if I'm going for a set of 10, I failed at 10. That means the weight was so heavy the way I failed at 10, which is good. It's good. Because based off science, anything above the eighth rep range, the six, above six and up, then shit, you in the hypertrophy range. You know, some people that say eight, Jay Cutler bad by 12 reps a set. You see what I'm saying? But you do need to hit all variables. You do need the proper load. You do need time under tension. You see what I'm saying? Now, consider that, T-U-T, -T, time under tension. What would take longer to, to perform? Eight reps or 15 reps? So you got that variable in there too. You see what I'm at? <clears throat> Hell yeah. If you train properly, man, you'll stimulate that muscle for all the things that need to take place for it to grow. What happened? From training. But hit me and remember this. Your nutrition and your sleep together is more important than just your training. Your, your, how you treat your body as far as stress mitigation, eating and sleeping, that shit more important than what you're doing in the gym, man, because you can just eat right and you can see a physical change for the good just from how you eat. You're going to eat anyway, just switching up how you eat, how much of it and sometimes what. <clears throat> What it do, Chico Cash? What it do? Appreciate the follow, Adrian Martinez. Yeah, I appreciate look, anybody sent any gifts, likes, anything, in a, you know, in a flattering way or anything, you know, in a positive way. I appreciate it if I missed it. Uh, <clears throat> meal plans are just are plans. And you know, some things don't go according to plan. So you want your plan to be as simple as possible. I do provide a meal plan, but I do not recommend for people to try to, like, cons to prepare a dish a different dish for every meal for every day of the week you see what i mean <clears throat> you need to simplify it as much as possible with just enough variety you know what i'm saying to where you don't fail at your at your goal you see what i mean because there's some shit that you want to keep keep doing now when you need something different in your meal plan that's when you switch it up into your into your your your, your regimen don't have to become a vegan chef you don't have to learn how to be the best you know organic food chef you don't have to do that man you don't all you need to do is just watch how much you eat find out how much of this shit you know can you eat with just maintaining the weight you eat or possibly lose some that's all that's it for those of you who have been blessed with good genetics that have a good frame that has a good frame and really not trying to do the workout shit, but you feel like your physique is like getting away from you. It's the food. As you're getting older, you're not having to walk around from class to class at school and all that silly ass shit. So you're getting older, your metabolism breaking down due to age alone and you're eating the same. You see what I mean? So your calorie output then, then decreased, but your calorie intake is still there. Oh, it's showtime. Appreciate that, Aisha. Shit, shit. Some of y'all need to get like Aisha on y'all. Shout out to everybody that's in here on here, man. Y'all like the live follow the whole. Hot as hell. Shit. It's hot as hell. Such a man. My dad is is to me it is it is the became normal. It's is how it should be. Not just for, you know, for health, but you know, in daily life. We shouldn't be consuming fools that we we shouldn't be doing this shit, man. For real, for real. But my dad pretty is pretty straight, bro. I eat eggs, grits, cheese, potatoes, hash browns. I cook the shit myself, though. See what I'm saying? So I know I was in there. You can get some French fries and the shit have fat. It contains fat from the oil. I could take a potato, you know, do what I need to do, and, and hey, it's all carbs. Motherfucking right. I put that tony season on there, that tony saturn. Yeah. So chill, you think you was at, at, at rallies? Yeah. <clears throat> How you build your traps? Growing, shrugging, pulling. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can grow your traps from doing heavy arm, um, heavy shoulder raises. Yeah, yeah. Work out the grow chest. Oh, you have to train it, bro. Like it's, you have to stimulate the muscle. When it comes down to muscle growth, bro, like just keep this in mind. The object, the mission is to stimulate the muscle. 
So you have to work it to where you didn't told your muscle, hey, look, I need you to handle a load that you've never handled before so you can get used to it, grow, get stronger, do whatever you need to do to prepare for this pressure that I'm going to apply to you. But you also have to let it shake back. You have to give it its food it need, nurse it back to health, and let it let the muscle think about it and come to a decision. Okay, look, we need to grow because this guy is applying supreme pressure. So the next time he's spinning back down on us, we need to be bigger and stronger to handle it. And let them let them sleep on it, the proper amount of sleep. They gonna wake up with it on their mind. You see what I'm see where I'm going with it? <laughs> yeah, you gotta treat that like this. For real. There's a lot of other variables too for the you know to optimize your your, your your results. Like checking out what muscles you need to bring up and seeing, you know, what's the frequency that they're allowed to be applied to to grow the most. Instead of just training it once a week. I tell you that. If you look this up, you can Google it. There's no muscle on your body that that should only be trained once a week. They all are trained. You train them more than twice a week. All of them. All of them. That's with training it, going home, eating properly, sleeping properly, waking up, not training it again, and then repeating it. Hell yeah. You can train your chest three days out the week. You can train your delts, the rear and the medial. You can train them four times a week. <clears throat> and the front three. So dwell on that and, and do with that as you will. Just just with that information, this is how I play that off. By me knowing that my front delt is going to get some activity when I do my pressing and my pushing, that means I don't need to single them out every time I, I train my medial and my rear. Being that I train my rear delt on back days, that means I don't have to go mad crazy on them when I single out the medial. So it seems to me what, what actually need per focus or the max attention on singling out the deltoids would be the medial. If and only when you know that you train the, the post, the, uh, anterior and the, the, the rear accordingly. <laughs> Simple as that. You do legs down there every day. Shit, strength trainers, strength athletes do it too. They do the same thing. Olympian um, lifters, they do the same thing. Everything, but look at them though. They don't look like they should be on a on a bodybuilding competition stage. They look like they should be picking up on heavy ass eighteen wheeler tires, pulling seven fifty seven jets with a with a <laughs> with a ship rope. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to everybody that's in here on here, man. Y'all like to laugh out of the hoes, man. It's hot out here. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna take this shirt off. For real. But I don't want y'all to go to tripping and shit if I don't. Uh, I'm just a fitness guy, Joel. I, I, I do some training, but it's more virtually than personally. We get personal, but as far as like, you know, in real time, unless you're on bad rules, like I ain't ducking nobody. It's just, you know, I feel like this is more effective. But when you think about it, if any of y'all have any experience of working with a personal trainer, like in person, like meeting them at the gym and y'all doing 30 hour sessions, it's a high probability the only time that you communicate with this person is in the gym. That's it. When you leave, it's, nah, you may reach out to them like, hey, we still on for the day? Or, hey, I can't make it today. Can we reschedule? Other than that, you're not communicating with these people. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> And that don't sound too effective to me. So that means that you have no questions about nutrition. Most people don't even must try to optimize their diet after they done made the commitment to get more healthier. Now, now I'm going to just do the workouts first, man, and just see what they do. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'll be here when you see me move a tricep or something. You'll be like, man, how you get so cut up like that? And I'm going to say, man, it's from the nutrition. <clears throat> Straight up, man. That's our girl use a two five six. Man, that's a bet, man. We can get a gym day in, man. They got a gym they're supposed to be opening up down here called Anna Gore. It's supposed to be like, you know, with an old school vibe. You know. Like hardcore. Don't let the word hardcore steer you away from, from weightlifting. Like, no, nah, hardcore don't mean oh five more, brother. No, it don't mean that. I mean it's gonna have some vulgar music playing in the background. You know, it's gonna it's encouraged that you grunt, scream, yell, slam the weights, you know, things of that nature. Now, I don't have a, I got a Twitter, but 
it's, it's no, it's of, of no interest of you. <laughs> it's of none, none of your concern. I compete this Saturday. I used to then again on the 19th of August. <clears throat> I am natural, Kate. But even if you still have some doubt that, yeah, he might be mad. If I take this damn shirt off, you're going to be fully convinced that I'm on everything under the sun. <laughs> Fuck, studies have shown that no one believes me. <laughs> ah, shit. I don't really give a fuck. I ain't here for that. I've been chicken and rice, that thing, Nick Ali. Shit, shit, whole lot of rice and chicken. For real. And I done made a fool of myself about, about, about eight weeks ago. I called myself going grocery shopping while I had an appetite. Came out of there with some Chick fil A sauce. I was just, you know, amused that they were selling Chick fil A sauce in Walmart. I was like, I gotta give me some of this. <laughs> ah, shit. I had broke that chicken down on one of them sauce shell tortillas with that fat free cheese. And I grabbed that sauce like a boss. <laughs> Looked at the back of that old bit, like, man, let me see what they got off up here. I said, they got how many grams of fat in there? God damn. God damn. So this shit just sitting in there, man. I hope I, I, you know, I hope I get a more relaxed diet before the shit expires. Yeah, yeah, man, soft shell tortillas. You got to know how to do that. Yeah, you, you don't know what you missing. You don't know what you missing. You missing out on like five different meals just with them tortillas. Them soft shell babies. Shit, shit. Think about it. Think about it. You got your steak quesadillas with with my cheddar, if you like. <clears throat> See what I'm trying to tell you? Then you got your, your your chicken, your beef. You got your mozzarella cheese. You got your chipotle sauce. Your buffalo, your garlic buffalo. Man, y'all tripping. Y'all tripping. <clears throat> shit, shit, man. Shout out to everybody that done tapped in with me too, man. All the new clans that done signed up, man. Look, congratulations, bro. We're going to get that thing on and pop. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I got a clan right now. I got to break down the meal plan and how that shit work. You know, we finna simplify that shit and get them rocking and rolling. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> what up, Rhino? What it do, man? <clears throat> Appreciate that smooth. Appreciate that, man. Click the link in the bio, Ronald. You was told not to eat tortilla. <clears throat> probably because they got too many carbs. Your training probably don't consist of a, 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 of a high intensity level, which is fine. People who not training with a high intensity shouldn't be ha shouldn't have a high carb intake because your body not going to use those carbs as a fuel source. You're not doing that at an intense level for your body to say, hey, we need carbs for the fuel this activity. You see what I'm saying? You might be at a low intensity, which is fine, because your body will use fat as a fuel source for low intense activity. Now, if you're consuming a high amount of carbs and they just, you're still just getting them and getting them and, and in a surplus or even in a deficit, but you're not using them carbs, then your body gonna break that down because you ain't using it. So you know what? We gonna save these carbs because we might need it for energy. And you know what? Let's go ahead and break it down to fat and store it for later. You see what I'm saying? <clears throat> so that should go hand in hand, man. Like you know, it's ways, bro. Diet methods is not like it's oh, that's the best diet method on the planet. This guy has the secret. No, no, the secret lies with. Cause me and this nigga here went past it Yeah, I'm about to put his ass 